It's homecoming for men's basketball as they take on UC Riverside. Women's basketball tries to beat the beach in another Fullerton-Long Beach rivalry matchup. And Titan Ice Hockey looks to take two of three in the season series against UCLA. All this and more on Titan Sports Recap. Any final thoughts? Um, go Titans. <laughs>Hello and welcome to the first edition of Titan Sports Recap. Derek Opina here and we're very glad to have you here for our first show. We have a lot going on for you tonight. Women's basketball takes on their rivals from Long Beach State. Men's basketball opens up February with a pair of Big West Conference matchups. But first, we're going to start off with Titan Ice Hockey, where the Titans go on the road to take on UCLA. For more on that, we go to Titan Ice Hockey reporter Trevor Rabin. Trevor, what do you got for us? Hi, Derek. Titans taking on UCLA tonight in the Valley at Valley Ice Center in Panorama City. Looking to break a little bit of a skid as they lost their home game last Thursday to the University of Washington 4-1. to one. Titan offense has been sputtering as of late, looking for a jump start tonight. Greg Lewis getting his first start in his two years as a Titan against Trevor Owens in net for UCLA. Titans looking to take the season series two games to one while UCLA look to improve on their one and four record all time against Fullerton. First period, Shane Galavis collects the rebound in front and opens the scoring one nothing Titans. But UCLA would respond quickly on a sharp angle shot that beats Lewis to tie the game one to one. Titans up two to one now late in the first when Jake Brummett sends a knuckleball towards the net that finds its way through Owens, Brummett's first Titan goal gives Fullerton a 3-1 lead. Now 3-2 Titans in the second breakaway stopped by Owens, but Blake Dorman bangs home the rebound for a 4-2 lead. Then 15 seconds later, Justin Monteleone pots home his own rebound goal. The Titans are opening the floodgates 5-2 Fullerton. Then Alan Denayev puts the icing on this one, going coast to coast, beating three Bruins and the goaltender on his way to the red light district. His 15th of the year. Take another look at this one. As Denayev sidesteps one, makes the nifty room around the defenseman and finds the twine. As the Titans go on to win it 7-4 and take the season series two games to one. I'm here with Greg Lewis, the Titan goaltender. He got his first start tonight and his first win. Greg, how'd you feel out there? Uh, I felt pretty good. Um, you know, early on, it was a little bit of nerves being the first start of the year. But um, overall, I think everything settled down real well, and I made a couple good saves and kept the team in it so that we could get some goals. Made a couple big saves in tight. Um, what's one thing that you'll that you'll just remember about your first start and first win? Uh, well, yeah, the first start for this year and, and, and my first win, um, you know, it was it was really good. The guys were really, really, really supportive. And uh, so that was that was a lot of fun. Um, you know, it's a great group of guys, and I really like playing for Fullerton, and I'm really looking forward to, uh, to us finishing out the season strong and then, you know, having a great season next year. So, uh, you know, just a step in the process, and, and it was a lot of fun, a lot of fun. Titan offense in abundance tonight as multiple Titans scored against the Bruins. Greg Lewis gets his first start and his first win in his career as a Titan. Final score 7-4 from the Valley Ice Center in Panorama City. Trevor Raybone, Titan Sports Recap. Trevor, thank you. Now we go on to men's basketball where the Titans take on UC Riverside in their annual homecoming game. For that, we go to Michael Morgan. The Titans beat UC Irvine before coming into this game. Michael, what do you have for us? Thanks, Derek. Coming off of a huge win Thursday night against UC Irvine, the Titans look to put together back-to-back -back wins after dropping their previous two. Standing in their way were the Highlanders of UC Riverside, who took the Titans into overtime before dropping the game 83-77. To the highlights now, where it was homecoming night for the Titans. We picked things up midway through the first half as guard Isaiah Umapig will grab the rebound and drive coast to coast for the sweet follow-away jumper, putting the Titans up 22-13 early. Later in the half, the Titans began to get sloppy as Riverside's Andy Saharan steals the ball and then hands it off to guard Phil Martin for the long three to give Riverside the lead at 27-22. 
Late second half now, and the Titans began to put the pressure on as Orlando Brown will find Perry Webster open in the corner as he buries the long ball to give the Titans the lead at 49 to 44. Very next possession, Webster will drive back up the court and bang! Another three, igniting the crowd as he celebrates back down the court. Ten seconds left now as Riverside has the ball trailing 69-68. Nothing looks to be happening on offense until Javon Barham finds forward Kevin Bradshaw open for the dunk, putting Riverside up by one. Last chance for the Titans now, but Perry Webster will lose the handles on the ball, and the game would end with the Highlanders on top, 70-69, in exciting fashion. A tough way to lose on homecoming night for the Titans. After the Titans' last-second heartbreaking loss, the record dropped to 5-6 and six in conference play and 9-15 and overall. Up next for the Titans is Cal State Northridge, who they take on here at home. From Titan Gym at Cal State Fullerton, I'm Michael Morgan, Titan Sports Recap. Thank you, Michael. Last June, baseball was one out away from the College World Series when UCLA's Tyler Ramatula hit a two-run home run off of Raymond Hernandez to keep the Bruins alive in the Super Regionals. UCLA eventually defeated the Titans in Day 3 and advanced to the College World Series. Titan Baseball kicks off their season opener on the 18th at Long Beach State. And for more on that, we go to Chris Contreras live at Goodwin Field. Chris, what do you got for us? A year ago, this is how the season ended for the Titans. After being just one out away from a trip to the College World Series, the Titans fell to UCLA. Our expectations are to get to Omaha every year, and we have another group that I think has the capabilities of doing that. Uh, the talent, it's not going to be because we're, we're lacking talent. We have talent. Uh, last year was last year. We let that go. We move on. We learn from it. Um, and uh, those, those, any pains that we went through that it won't have anything to do with this year's team. We try to leave it in the past, but at the same time, you know, we were one out away. It's kind of hard just to leave it. And, uh, but, I mean, it's definitely, you know, I feel motivated by that. I feel like a lot of other guys feel, you know, we want to get that. We want to get to that same spot. You know, be one out away and you know succeed. Be uh, you know, make that last down head to Omaha. And uh, you know, I feel like this, the confidence in our team this year uh, can definitely get that done. If the Titans are going to make another run to a national title, they will have to do it without Christian Cologne and Gary Brown, who were big bats in their senior year last spring. Yeah, you don't replace guys like Gary Brown and Christian Cologne, and we also lost uh, Corey Jones. Those guys are were uh, staples in our lineup. Uh, but I think we have a collection of guys that'll be able to fill some roles that they played, and and I, I think uh, we that's why we recruited some junior college. Um, position players to come in and take those roles and and I like the way our lineup will stack up we're going to be left-handed heavy and uh, hopefully the pitching staff could carry the team early on while we find our niche as a team offensively. We did lose you know some great players but um, I mean I feel that the the crews the guys new guys we have this year are filling in great I mean we still have guys from last year who are you know who, who've gotten better and uh, you know Nick Ramirez, Tyler Pill and uh, you know the, I feel like they're going to fill in great for uh, the guys who left. Even after losing a few stars, the Titans are ranked in the top 15 in the country and are a heavy favorite to win the Big West Conference. We feel really good. Uh, you know, we, we won't know for sure until we get going against our competition, but we, we have a veteran pitching staff and, and we have a, a core of players back from last season. Um, so I, I like the way this team has come together to this point, but, but we'll see when we play ball, when they say play ball for real. We love having that, that target in our back. It, you know, I feel it makes us play a lot harder. And, uh, you know, we're just, I, mean, I feel like we're ready for the season, especially as of late. We just, it's a whole different atmosphere around here. So, I mean, I feel like everything they say about us being good, us being favorites, I feel like this team could handle it really well. Despite the loss of some offensive firepower, this year's Titan team is as talented as ever. And if everything goes as planned, there is no reason to believe this Titan team can't be competing for its fifth national championship. From Goodwin Field, I'm Chris Contreras, Titan Sports Recap. Thank you, Chris. Now we go back to historic Titan Gym, but this time for women's basketball, where Corey Vest has the highlights on their game versus Long Beach State. Corey, what do you got for us? Derek, thank you. Cal State Fullerton took on Cal State Long Beach today. The Titans came away with a victory, winning 64 to 48. Let's go to the clip. Cal State Long Beach took on Cal State Fullerton today in a Big West showdown. Long Beach would open up the scoring with a corner three right there. Splash! Later on in the first half, Megan Richardson re received this pass fake and knocked down that two. Here, Richardson sets up Lauren Chow from behind the arc. She gets that triple to go 
for three of her 20 points. She went a perfect seven for seven from the field. Ella Clark would end the scoring in the first half with this hook shot in the lane. Titans would lead 25-24. Early in the second, Long Beach gets this little scoop shot to go and the foul. She'd go on to make the free throw. Cal State Fullerton answers with a three-point play of their own, however. When Grove receives the pass from Richardson and gets that and the hard foul she with the score tied at 41-41, Grove would add in another three points here. She had 16 in total. Lauren Chow would pretty much ice the game on this bucket though. Coming off the screen, receives the pass and boom, give me all three of those deep from downtown. Titans would go on to win this game by a score of 64-48. Uh, 16 points in the second half alone, uh, including your 1,000th career point. How did that feel? Um, it was, you know, it was a great accomplishment. It felt really good. There's only been, I think, 20 in the history of our school that have scored 1,000. So it just, it feels really good. It makes me, you know, it'll it'll be like a memory for me when I come back here and just help me remember my career. All right, the team overall did a great job in the second half. Uh, they took their biggest lead, and you never looked back. Uh, what would, what was said at halftime? I think that we knew from our last game how we came out in the second half wasn't the way we wanted to and um, our coach got a little far under our butts so we knew we had to come out and come out hard because we played against them we knew that they were going to come out the same so we knew we had to come out with a lot of energy we had to play as a team and play good defense and I think we definitely did that. All right thank you that was uh, Lindsey Grove from the Colorado State Fullerton Titans. Corey thank you. Now we're going to keep you at Titan Gym but this time transition to the wrestling mat where Alex Stathis has the latest on Titan Wrestling. Alex, what do you have for us? Last year, the Titans went 0-4 and four in the Pac-10 and finished with an overall record of 3-7. and seven. The Titans will be returning to their head coach, Dan Hicks' alma mater, the Oregon State Beavers, on Friday, February 11th. The Titans lost to Oregon last year. We train just as hard as anybody in the nation. Um, like I said, we have, we have plenty of talent uh, to beat these guys. We just have to... Find the, find the heart to do it. We just need that heart. Some of the pressure the Titans must endure are several injuries, certain wrestlers being cut due to their grades, and the uncertainty of the program being cut at any moment. These Titans don't let these pressures get in the way of victory for them. They still fight on and continue to strive for victory against Oregon State. This is one of the tougher seasons we've had. I think the whole issue of trying to raise all of our money this year, and the uncertainty for the uh, next year. Um, so that's kind of weighed heavy on the guys a little bit, wondering what's going to happen. Um, we had several injuries and some guys that didn't make it in school that really hurt us. We probably have uh, six guys starters out of the lineup. But all is not lost for the Titans. A lot of the young wrestlers are stepping up and bringing their A game. The Titans are using the uncertainty of their future to drive them to do their best. I'm working hard. I have wrestled at, I've wrestled Clayton Jack multiple times, so I know what to expect. Um, I'm just going working on my conditioning, make sure that's up to par with him. I've got a tough match. He's been jumping in and out of the rankings throughout the whole year, from anywhere from 15th rank to 20th. So uh, he's a tough guy. I think um, we found a little more motivation of being positive and you know a little more team bonding. Last year, the Titans had a disappointing finish with their overall record. This year, they faced the uncertainty of being cut. The uncertainty only serves as fuel for the Titans as they prepare for their big duel against the Oregon State Beavers, more focused than ever. From a store Titan gym, Alex Stathis, Titan Sports Recap. All right, well, that's going to do it for us here at Titan Sports Recap. On behalf of the entire staff, thank you for tuning in. Derek Opina here. See you guys next time.